Look at this. It's like a city. In Xinjiang, displays of police might are everywhere. But there's something here they don't want you to see. Huge fences all around it, look. Behind these blue steel walls, in a former school, is what China calls a vocational training center. But it looks more like a prison. Nearby, relatives queue up to visit. From above, the grim details can be picked out. Last year, the school had a football pitch. Today, it's covered with what look like accommodation blocks. Watch towers are visible. On a corner, just outside the camp fence, we stop to speak to a family. What are you guys doing here? Some officials try to stop us filming, but another intervenes. Let them speak, she says. I ask who they're visiting. My dad, he replies. The dad's in there. Xinjiang's main Muslim minority are known as the Uyghurs. We find many of their homes locked and deserted. Sinister official notices on the doors say the missing are being looked after. One credible estimate suggests up to a million people may now be detained. But the BBC has seen new, detailed satellite analysis of dozens of suspected camps across Xinjiang. Few of them look much like schools. This giant compound is surrounded by a high wall with 16 watchtowers. We try to approach the site by car. Look at this only to discover that it's being expanded wow. on a massive scale. It's like a city. Then the police block our way. <laughs> if this really is all about education, then why the effort to stop us getting close? Impressive thing is that The satellite analysts show us a more recent image it's clear how much the site has grown. Everything double. Double, even more than double. The, the but the team is able to show that this one camp is part of something much bigger by identifying many other similar secure facilities right across Xinjiang. Oh, this is new. Plotting their growth over time shows just how fast they're being built. Satellites see beyond what the human eye can see. As the years pass, we have detected that the number of infrastructures being built increases, and most significantly in the past two years. And prison design experts tell us this could now be one of the biggest detention facilities in the world, holding 11,000 inmates at the very least. China denies it is detaining Muslims in Xinjiang. In response to the allegations, state TV has been showing classrooms of supposedly grateful adults willingly undergoing re-education. Without this, I might have followed religious extremists, this woman says. From a vegetable field, to another one of China's new schools in less than six months, complete with watchtowers. We try to film one of them, but once again, while trying to get to the truth, we're asked to leave. 